few years ago, uh, with Kiont and Camilla, we came to the conclusion that we are really, uh, we should start, stop talking, start doing something. And a few years ago, we created Gaia, Global Artificial Intelligence Association, together with David Hansel, the creator of, creator of Sofia, the Android, the first one, the first robot who, have, who got the citizenship of Saudi Arabia. And together with him, we decided that we create this Gaia because we need not only intelligence machine, not only artificial intelligence, but we need compassion AI. We need compassion machine because if you go in the future, AI will be run, run the world. And for this, we need something more than just algorithm. We work on the things which are good or bad for us. We need compassion ethical AI. And apart of this, we said, okay, it's not enough to create compassion AI. We need to create a compassion world, a compassion society. And for this, we need better tools. And we create iMind Institute. It's a, it's a private research institute in Poland. We are working with a big state. Because during the big state, you have access to Atasha, you have access to compassion, you have access to, to, to flow, to the deeper states of mind. And together with and, uh, the months ago, together with the club of Budapest and people from different people from all around the world, mm -hmm. uh, yes. Sorry. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, and inside the problem of current war are two complex and two extensions for a single human brain to solve them and to let human step into the new reality, in the new world, a different model of creativity and cooperation is needed. Yes. Slow is <laughs> Okay, then in, uh, from 19 to 22nd of May, in our IMAC Institute in Warsaw, we invite a few people from around the world to work on the, on the global problems and trying to find a solution. And, and one of the things which we did before the conference, before, before the team and meeting, to talk to the different people from around the world, asking them what is the most important problem which should be solved according to their beliefs and their knowledge. And with such people like uh, uh, Greg Bratton or Baby Hanson, uh, we asked them about the question, we asked more than 50 people what they think is the most important. And we invite our friends and members, a few members of the, of the Club of Budapest to work on this. First we decide, okay, we already have the question, what else we can do? And from the question, we, took, we decided that we should redefine this question, we should choose which of these 50 questions or more are more important? Which is the first step which we should take to try to save the world? And in a few days, using the different methods, and later Camilla will, will share with you our, how we did it. We work with our friends of, of these problems. And first, what few, we achieved a few things. First, general definition of compassion. We are trying to create the definition of compassion, the definition not only for humans, but the definition which in later can be exchanged into algorithm and can be teach, we can teach using this algorithm artificial intelligence to create compassion artificial intelligence at creating a uh, compassion world. After these three days, we create the list of six based on this question from the 50 people or more from around the world, we create a list of the six products which can be later exchanged into product because we say, okay, stop talking, start doing it. Mm. And we, uh, our idea was that after putting the question, after the redefinition and choose the most important problems which can be solved, we are started working with the platform for open platform for open science. In this case, we started working with Fondema. It's a platform for AI engineers. And we said, okay, from the six question, Let's try to create IP, which later can be exchanged into product, which can change the world. And a part of working with Ondena and working with, with our friends, uh, we started creating the club of uh, impact investors, together with the Fox magazine and different, different organizations from all around the world, to find the money to change the world. Because we need the money, we need the power if you want to do something. It's good to talk, but for me it's kind of the intellectual masturbation. It's amazing, but how long? you couldn't have the children for this. If you want to change something, we should have the knowledge and possibility to do something, to give the, 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 the child to life. Mm. And 
manage together with uh, with uh, Greg Braden and with uh, Papa Kulen and David Hans and a few different people, and with a group of our participants participant doing this, this workshop, we create the concept of the roundtable. We decide that it's good for the uh, if we want to talk about the future, we should invite and about the future AI, we should invite not only not only the engineers, not only the people who are working with AI. But if we are thinking about creating the compassion AI, we should invite the people from different religions, the philosophers, the artists, the scientists, the business people, only in this one table, and everybody will be on the same level. And everybody will share what is really important for him, we can do something. And we come to the concept of creating this round table. Uh, it will take the place in Salzburg in 16, 17 March, but we would like to invite different indigenous people. Uh, the spiritual teacher, the artists, the, the best AI engineers from all around the world to sit together and try to find the way how we can create this compassion AI. And next things which you achieve after these three days, we develop a, of a research project dealing with the creation of compassion AI. From the 7th of July, we started a two months project with 60 or 70 AI engineers from all around the world. Uh, to create, to first make the research about conscious and compassion AI, and later, after two months, we we'll decide what else we can do with it. We hope that after this research, we'll know what should be the next step. Mm. Another thing which we achieved after these three days was developing the original method to generate question solution product. Camilla will mention a bit more about this. And we create a roadmap for the next guy activities. For example, in the beginning of September, we have in Poland kind of the Davos, Polish Davos Forum, Economic, Economical Forum in Karpacz, and we'll present what we achieved with this uh, research project about Compassion AI. We want, during this uh, Economical Forum, create this club for impact investors and collect the money to have the chance to, check, to exchange our, our knowledge our IP into the product and put it on the market and uh, uh, we dis uh, together with the Salzburg uh, we decided to create Human and Society 2.0 conference in March and during this conference we would like to show the future of society the future of humanity and creating this round table around the subject of compassion AI and this is the, the things which we already started. If you want to, to help us with this, or if you want, if you know some AI engineers who want to be part of this, please go to on the lab website. And uh, this is what we are starting doing on the 7th of July. Good afternoon. Yeah. So I will talk about this part related to collective creativity. So right now we what we are focused on is to solve current issues, we need collective genius. And the collective genius is the combination of the piece of geniuses which is in each of us. And then combining our own skills and all the backgrounds which we have, then we can have a completely new way of working on problems. So the idea is to combine the conscious and unconscious way of working together in a human um, uh, perception, in a human perception perspective, in a traditional way of thinking. So the consciousness, conscious way of thinking is, is based on psychology and unconscious is based on the, uh, um, on the, on the ideas made by Edwin Lashaw and Roger Penrose and uh, David Bohm and the way we work, what we try to achieve is to use our hearts and brains to get into knowledge which we actually share all together. So from the consciousness perspective, the way we work is based on research made recently by many uh, many, many, many universities in, in the world. Mm -hmm. I recommend Lee Brahil book, uh, Collective Genius. And um, it's a, the combination about creative operation, agility, and 
resolution. So One more, sorry, if I can add sure. some things about the pictures, because on the pictures you can see our IMAC mm -hmm. Institute with different tools we are actually using for upgrade human potential. For example, this is the sonora, this is like a tomograph. We need this is, this is a sonora, so it's like a, it's a tomograph, you go inside, and outside, it's made by wood. Outside you have harvest strings, and a musician, when you are inside, a musician playing on the harvest strings, and it's 432 hertz, like a Tesla said, but we are vibration. And during this session you can really go deep, deeply into your unconscious, or you can integrate the old stuff which happened before. And we just, during this meeting, we just, for example, with sonora. Well, in, in this equipment, what we measure already is that people are going into alpha state. Right? It's, it's, we, we cannot explain everything right now. So, coming back to collective creativity, uh, all those three, there is no time to jump into each of us, but in general, is that we work on the ideas in a completely different way. So, um, it's, it's not about that one single vision or hypothesis and assumption that we should achieve something. We ask questions. We collect questions from people. And then we work on them in a completely new way, uh, combining or gathering people with very different backgrounds. The diversity which is there, uh, it's on the background, age, culture, location, level. So we try to collect as diverse team as possible. And then it's not that important if you are, are an expert of the question or not. Because what we believe is that you can be an amateur and you can have a background in a completely different discipline and then you can still have an input on any question which is important for us. So we, in this uh, event, we collected questions around compassion AI but also about human future and, um, and then those questions were, uh, were the subject of this event. So collective collaboration is ability to create a marketplace of ideas thanks to this diversity. So we don't reject any idea, we take into assumption any idea which is a red question which, which pops up during the event one before. And creative agility is, is very important is that we don't plan what we're supposed to get and how we're supposed to get, which is very difficult. It's a combination between artistic and scientific point of view, where we use oral skills to work on the solution. And then we work on improvisation, with improvisation like the Mikhail idea of the flow, that we let ideas to come to us and we don't use only our brain, but not only uh, analytical way of thinking, but also uh, artistic, let's say, way of thinking. Um, but there is no assumption about the thing. So it's like, we don't think it's a pilot, and we more expect it's an experiment. In a pilot, if there is a failure, you assume it, it was done incorrectly. When it's an experiment, you still learn something and we can develop with every X next experiment in the method itself and in the solution as well. So it's always open and we always can improve it, what we get before. And um, yeah, and creative resolution is about the uh, decision-making process. So, we take questions from Bhagavad. Again, we don't give an answer up front. We don't focus on the hypothesis up front. We are open to any idea which is in the team or is gathered before. And, um, and what's important, and I mentioned it, that we take into account more questions than statements. Because statements are close. When you ask questions, it's more open and you are open to what other people are thinking. So it's a different way of communication, and it's also related to mind conflicts. So it's not like brainstorming that you cannot judge. You can judge. You can share what you think about an idea, and then the mind conflict will increase the creativity.
because then you need to rethink your arguments and listen arguments to other members of, of the democracy. So, and for all of this, we have all activities to actually show up uh, our 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 possibilities in the field. And an unconscious way of uh, working is uh, going into hypergenic state. Yeah. So we are going into hypnotic sorry states, and here we are focused on the theta uh, state, which we can get in our institute with the equipment. So, for example, the helmet, which is here, it works in the infrared, and it can entrain brain waves to particular state. For example, in theta, we have floating tank in which, uh, according to researchers. We know that people are going into theta state and then they, then, then they can access artistic way of thinking or unconscious uh, records of the brain or, or of the feeling. And, uh, and we have our equipment which can help us to go into the state. We use equipment and activities for group synchronization. So according to research, the best teams, the best creativity is what people are synchronizing to it. I was synchronizing, so we use some activities for that. And collective unconscious theory, so then we use some special solution, uh, which is constellation, which was provided by Diana and uh, Anna Marie. So thank you for that. So when we work on the, how we call it, uh, of the unconscious way of so using the systemic constellation work of Bert Henninger that you also uh, spoken about um, and we will see how we can work in the, the energy field what we call it the knowing field uh, and see how that can serve us whilst we fully embody that uh, to see what our next movement could be Regarding the questions that we have. Yeah. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. And, uh, and we use for all of this the big state technologies I mentioned. So, in the Institute, we have a lot of equipment which can help us to get to the idea of some, some special um, brain waves patterns, or not only brain waves patterns, but also our internal domain. And, yeah, that's it for me. Yeah, um, yeah, so we have supporting methods, we use our place, constellations from Anna Marie and Contra. And uh, yeah, I think it's actually for another maybe five minutes. And this is the, the paradise case, we are measuring the gray phase. Because of this we can better work with the with the, part, with the members of, of the team. One of the things that we are doing working with this uh, unconscious etc. because of the every because of this work or Akasha, we're looking to the best, we're looking to create the, the, the best path to attach to Akasha, to have the contact with Akasha, because we believe that only if more and more of us will have this contact with our unconscious, with the, the highest conscious, we can solve the problem. Because we couldn't solve the problem one by one. We couldn't solve the problem being in our normal state of mind. We need something deeper, we need to go deeper. And uh, yeah, uh, that's all. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you.